hello guys welcome my another video tutorial in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can download and install bootstrap so let's get start to download and install bootstrap in your favorite browser and search on the browser at this bar bootstrap after searching the bootstrap then you are able to see the first link has appeared get bootstrap.com open this website after opening the website like bootstrap you need to click on download link in this page you are able to see the download button or link available okay you need to click on the link okay now we have seen the download uh, link uh, file available on my screen I select desktop and save and start on right now we have successfully downloaded the bootstrap now I cut the folder and make another folder this is a new folder and paste the folder bootstrap okay now next thing is right click it and extract the folder remove the zip folder right now I wanna set up the CSS file so I double click on the file I'm in folder and I select all files without bootstrap.cs with the size of 156 KB and I remove the other files and go to new folder and select the JS folder in this folder I keep it uh, I mean available on this file I select whole files without this files I remove the other files the folder the bootstrap files uh, I mean JS files uh, size is 109 KB right now the next thing is open your code editor and open the folder open the folder folder name is new folder open this folder in this folder I wanna create another file with the name of index.html index.html and I write the basic syntax of HTML file right this is our basic syntax I write bootstrap tutorial set and I go to my new folder open this folder this is our bootstrap file I wanna include the bootstrap files so I write, write the link relationship style sheet href and I write the folder name like css slash and under the file name bootstrap.css or write the file name bootstrap strap.css okay now another file we need to include a script a script clause and src the folder name is js under the folder name we have seen the bootstrap.js file available so we need to include this file bootstrap.js right so now we are able to use bootstrap okay now let's check it I write the div tag and I use class container under the class I write the simple button set and I assign the class btn btn I mean uh, success and btn large lg okay now save open the browser and fill the page now guys you can see it right but two more things you need to do uh, the first thing is first I will tell you why you need to include two files two files is the one is jQuery and second is a JavaScript JS file right then we are able to use bootstrap all features like tool tips drop down menus and other features now I will tell you I click get start and I search on the search box drop down right this is the drop down menu 
and I copy the drop down menu code copy it and paste the code under the body section set and open the browser of the page right bootstrap uh, drop down menu available on my page I click it I can't see the drop down menu why because we need to include the two files the first file name is jQuery the second file name is JavaScript so let's get start to download and install uh, I mean include the two files I go to home page and I click get start in this page you are able to see the jQuery link and proper JS files first I open jQuery file I mean website and click to download and then I select the download compressed or uncompressed file but you need to select the slim blood slim black right you can select anyone as you like but remember the file name is slim blood okay select it keep and I show the folder and cut the file go to new folder select the JS file I mean folder and paste here and I remove the I mean change the name of the jQuery file alright the jQuery.js now we need to include this file before JavaScript file you need to include jQuery file right so I write source js dot jQuery dot js this is our first file now the next file is go to the boot step and you need to select the proper js file open this file I mean website and uh, go to the tool tips tooltip dot js now I think tooltip uh, js okay now go to the github and uh, go on below where uh, you can see the proper js file available on here select this link this is your proper js file copy the whole code and go to code editor and select the js folder under the js folder I will create a file I write the file name proper.js in this file I paste the whole code which we have basically uh, copied on the browser set now the next thing is we need to include this file on the HTML document after the jQuery file we need to include script source js dot proper.js file this is the file name right guys set then we are able to use basically drop down menu so refresh the page click on it now as you can see it I remove the basically proper JS file and uh, I already include the jQuery file and I refresh the page then I can't show the drop down menu right now one more thing you need to do is the tooltip I go to bootstrap and search on the tool tip now I select the tool tip uh, basically here this is a tool tip code copy the tool tip code and go to code editor and paste the code editor and paste the code basically guys uh, under the file cell and open the browser refresh the page now here uh, you can see tooltips menu is available but I can't see the tooltip why because we need to include one more function the function name is you need to go on the bootstrap and scroll I mean go to Apo and copy the function like this copy function and paste the function under the proper JS file after the semicolon I paste the function cell and I go to both steps if the page 
and now guys you can see it this is all about how you can download and install bootstrap the whole features available in this file you are able to use drop down menu tool tips and pop up box it is you can do that okay guys so thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel for getting updates have a nice day